You're still watching Ways. Now, Thesaurus Day will help you broaden your horizon and your vocabulary and um, take joy in the beauty of language. Thesaurus Day is your opportunity to reintroduce yourself to that best friend of writers, um, the Thesaurus. Now, whether you're looking for a new word to spice up your vocabulary or looking for precisely the right um, nuance to add to a sentence or phrase, the Thesaurus can be there to help you. Our English people, <laughs> <laughs> they are here on set with me. You know, the funny thing is, um, yes, I studied English and I remember there was a time when I used to carry my Daniel Jones everywhere because mm -hmm. I had to learn pronunciations and I was always literally when I had nothing doing, I would go through um, words, exacerbate, juxtapose, hanky panky, all those, <laughs> you know, words. And then you remember that, um, um, what's that? Is it Chris Cotier and yeah, all these big mm -hmm. guys that speak a lot of English. Paul, yeah. Paul Adiforas. Right, all of them. So I would follow them and just, but at the end of the day, I realized, listen, the most important thing is say what people communicate. can connect with. <laughs> communicate. That's so instead of say, saying juxtapose, just say, place it side by side. Mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. It, the, people would understand that better. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Tell me, let me come to you. <laughs> what did you find for us in the news? COVID, you know, my news um, is still on COVID, uh, the second wave as it affects Nigeria, um, as I noted before. So let me has clarified um, that the second term of the 2020-2021 academic session will run for only 61 days. In normal school term, you know, should be upwards of about 90 days but to suspend redemption, manage COVID numbers, right? So private and public schools started today, January 18, and they're supposed to round off the uh, term April 30, whilst, of course, we're all supposed to continue adhering to safety protocols um, to limit the spread of the virus. Now, for me, for me or back, I don't know, but I'm ready to let my kids out of the house. Um, I shall proceed with caution, and I want to implore the parents to do so, because on the one hand, you know, the state government has extended the work from home order to public servants. So you're saying for, you know, civil servants to stay home till February 1, but then you want the kids back in school. And then we're hearing that isolation centers are full, you know, lots of the numbers at the hospitals, quite scary and all of that. So... You know, it's a bit of a touchy um, situation for me. So I'd rather just keep the children at home for now. Mm -hmm. And we'll see how things proceed from here, you know. <sighs> this COVID matter. We'll 61 continue. days. Yeah. The full term is about 90-something days or maybe 100. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't, I mean, this is, Normally, honestly speaking, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be selfish, but God knows my heart. This is one of the seasons that I'm glad I don't have kids. Because that's extra you're worrying about yourself and then you're worrying about children as well it's um now can wow now, now well imagine you guys that have five six it, children. and toddlers wow <laughs> wow big ups you guys are doing great honestly parents and this then is the younger children can understand it mm. like you know they understand there's covid but their own mental health as well they're just locked up in the house right you mm. know they don't get on instagram they don't do other things to release stress like the rest of us, they just know they can't go to school, they can't go to church, they can't mm. see their friends, you know. It's a tough one. Very tough, it's a very tough. tough. One. Sanzi, yeah. what did you find for us? All right, so a bit on the uh, funny side, uh, um, um, Joe Biden and uh, Kamala Harris's inauguration is on Wednesday, that's January 20th. Now, Nigerians in the United States have gathered together their association, and they have Ashwebi for um, Joe Biden and Kamala Chukwu Harris. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but that's like my evil folks. That's the name they gave her. Just so you know, the name is Kamala Harris, um, Vice President-elect of the United States of America. So um, now here is the thing. I mean, there are other, other things in the news. Um, Barack, uh, former President Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, uh, Bush would be attending. And um, interestingly, Donald Trump will not be 
attending, and he'll be the fourth president in the history of the United States president to not attend. And it's just funny. You're the person who is handing, handing over. over. Why would you? I mean, you spent the past two months protesting, and there's just He's too been much sulking. scandal, impeachment theory, and all that. We get that. But at least this should be the last honors you should you should do. You mm. Like, do what is right. Absolutely. But anyway, here is my question about Nigerians getting Ashrebi for how did Ashwebi extend to United States president? Ah, Are you seeking matter. subtle favor? What it's exactly favor. is, I don't It is the Nigerian spirit, please. <laughs> but they were holding vigils for his re-election now. Why are you surprised? <laughs> so I don't understand because I saw people marching well, like Trump, Trump must win. You remember then? Trump must win. You remember those that video yeah, on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. So they have shifted the carpet now to the to the winner. So is this about seeking favors? It is well, my dear. So my story is actually on a sad note, honestly, really, mm. really heartbreaking. Um this breaks my heart. I really don't know. I'm just appealing to the federal government of Nigeria. I mean, when we say you should do the right things, it's not because of anything. We're losing too many, too much too many. Um amazing record-breaking people that would have transformed right. nigeria you know this is david um what's his name david um and take and take him rex. Uh, rex is just one of so many that we've lost now this young boy is 22 years old um a computer um, systems engineer he was shot by armed robbers. Now, the headline says, friends mourn as robbers kill um, winner of the IBM competition in Lagos. I don't think it is even actually the robbers that killed him. It's the system that killed this boy. Because according to the report, when he was shot at about 8 p.m., right. right, instead of the police to expedite whatever it, it is that is necessary, you mm -hmm. know, to get him medical attention, they were busy taking pictures. Now, this young boy, they took him to several, I think, uh, finally, it was like loose or something. They, they didn't want to treat him. Now, on one hand, the police will say they are no longer require, there's no longer that requirement for you to bring police report to treat uh, victims of gunshot wound. On another hand, when you go to the hospitals, it's a completely different thing you meet. So I'm just appealing to our government. Like, we're losing too many people. Very soon, the entire young people in Nigeria will begin to run away from this country. Actually, a lot of them you are know? already They're running away. are already running away. It is sad. Mm. How can this boy competed in... in, 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 um, in um, IBM and I, IBM competition is that 17,000 people. people competed all over the world. And he emerged the winner, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. And we just lose this person just like that. Where do you even begin to comfort the parents of this young boy? Where? So when we ask our government to do things right, let them be seen, you know, to actually really genuinely care about the people. Right, you know, something that caught my attention was, remember last year we had the NSAS protest. Uh, we were talking about, uh, part of the protest was, leave tech, there are a lot of tech guys going, yes. tech is the new, like, oil. Yeah. So a lot of people move around with laptops, stop asking questions. And according to the report, um, David was shot, uh, like you said, but he hadn't died yet. The police came around taking pictures. And there's nothing wrong with taking pictures. It's like one second, two seconds, you're done taking pictures. So, But the thing was, they were busy asking, why are you carrying laptop around? Hmm. This is a tech guy. There's just things we do that makes you question where is our value for life? Our heart truly goes out to the family. I, I completely agree with you ladies. Um, the system killed him. You yeah. know, as I said to us on the group yesterday, that was the next unicorn out of Africa, the next face that, the right. next Kuda. Somebody Absolutely. that won, you know, that kind of competition. And apart from the fact that, you know, it's the poverty and the insecurity and you know a complete breakdown of law and order that will you know just warrant somebody being shot like that in front of people you know but then the system as you rightly said emergency medicare you know <sighs> the policemen the medical personnel what is the value of a nigerian life i'll That's tell you question I tell you. And you know, Owa, um, sadly, or I don't know, coincidentally, we have uh, one of his roommates back at uh, NYSC who works with us here in the studio. And remember, we were having a conversation with him, and he was like, this guy is not just a tech guy. He's a singer. He's a dancer. Multi he's an artist. Multi-talented. And so young, Like, when so he promising. said that, it broke my heart further. It broke my heart further. Honestly, exactly. my heart goes out to the parents. We are so sorry for this loss. I mean, if the federal government will not come out to apologize, we are apologizing on their behalf. This one, where do you even start from? Like, it's actually very, very painful. Very, very painful. It is. We'll take a short break. When we return, we'll be talking about the opportunities that COVID brought to us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.